Hi, this is Stan. Welcome back. Well, it's been about eight months since I've been working on this locomotive, trying to bring her back online, and we made some progress recently. I was able to put, for the first time, an actual coal fire down in here, steam it up, and just on the rack, not on uh, any track, but at the steaming bay, and to see how she would respond, to see if we had any major leaks or major problems and uh, really did well and I got a few primary 101 steam engine lessons while I was there. So I've got a double feature for you today. I want to show you some of this footage because it's pretty exciting. It's a milestone in my attempt to uh, get this locomotive restored. But while I was there I also uh, met Rich who explains the stationary locomotive. It was kind of a homemade, homebrew locomotive, not a commercial product. He had it set up on the steaming bay running on air, so I thought you might be interested in that as well. So if that sounds like fun, I hope you can join me. Oh yeah, too yeah. Well, you can shut this off. Well, we should keep going if we've got steam pressure. Yep, there you go. Which we do. Yep. Now, pull that off of there. Okay, we can get you. You need me to have gloves? Yeah. Nope, that's good. All right. Okay, it's on its own now. We're on our own going now. Okay, now we could drop the, drop the blower a little bit. We got the safety lifted. How many pounds? About 80? Yeah. 90, 85? Yeah, yeah that's good. That's where you want. We don't need any more. All right, see, Stan? we are a good hot fire. Yeah, that is cooking. You see what you do is you don't turn it like a cut, like a cake mix. You yeah. push down on yeah. it. What you're doing is pushing the ashes down, breaking it up, letting the air come up through. And then when it goes, works its way down some, you just sprinkle a little bit of coal on it. You got a you got a, you got a nice deep you got a nice deep firebox in there and uh, deep yeah. meaning vertically tall. So there's no external blower. The water is up pretty high. Water is up pretty high, okay. And this and is, the, the this is our blower here. Yeah. That's that's the thing is, see the pressure's coming right back up here. Mm -hmm. You see, we're putting water into that too, so that's and that, right, kills it? that kills it down oh, yeah. some too. The other thing is too, a lot of times you gotta get them cold a little hard. Look at look at look where that fire went now. See how far down she went? Yeah, that's where you gotta be ready with your coal. This ain't the easiest thing to do in here either. Here. Go ahead. Yeah. Fire <laughs> it up. More coal. More coal firing. Shove it in there. You can't believe that. This is my best Sunny sneakers. Uh -oh, <laughs> it's a good thing your foot was just above it. You <laughs> didn't know to do it. <laughs> All right, that's good. I will right, we'll close that and let that cook a little bit. Well, you'll be an expert before. around 50, so it's set one off of these. Yeah. Wow. 
that was exciting. After months and months of work to finally see a coal fire in this locomotive. I have a lot to learn about maintaining a proper heat and coal flame in this locomotive, but that will come all in due time. And now let's take a look at Rich's cool homemade uh, steam engine running on air. Okay, Rich, you got to explain what this is and what's going on here. Oh, okay. This is a, a homemade steam engine. I have no idea what year it is. Probably in the 40s, I'd be thinking. And uh, pretty much just cleaned it up and put air to it and it started running. Oil, of course. But what you see is what you get. <laughs> it's fantastic. So. I don't know what the flywheel came off of, whatever it is. I wish he would have used a better looking flywheel, but everything else is fairly well machined. So it's got a reversing, reversing mechanism, mechanism, which slides here, yeah. right? Changes the timing. Yeah, which we can do. There's neutral. It's a little awkward. It don't start very well when uh, reverse. I couldn't get the timing any better. In reverse, most steam engines will run better in one way than the other. Like an electric motor. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of extra work when you reverse something because now you got to make four eccentrics instead of instead of two for this. Or like a regular like your engine, you got to have more sensors. If it's just going in one direction, you only need one of those, not two, for each cylinder. So it's a little extra labor involved. That seems like a pretty large uh, bore. Yeah. Isn't it? I'm not sure. I never took the cylinder covers off of it. I took this one apart for the valve, but trying to get the timing on one of these quite right, so I just left it to run better and forward. That's fantastic. Yeah, I was going to polish the brass up and then I just like the patina, you know, and I think it's more interesting than all the sodium. Starts right up and forward. Yeah. Yeah, to run. Runs a lot smoother and slower in forward gear. Even the uh, the shifting quadrant is, is quite well built. Actually, how did you get a hold of this? I found the mind game with me. Yeah, I've been laying around in their garage shop for years. I have no use for it. Funny thing is, though, it don't have a pulley on. So you really, if you were going to power something, you'd have to come up with a flat belt off of this pulley straight up. There's no drive pulley on anything, and you can't go... Well, I suppose you could come out a little ways this way if this was built up. A heck That's of a, a massive... Aluminum. <laughs> Oh, Rich, thank you for yeah. showing us that. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah, I left it at home for a long time. I thought, you know, if I bring it out here, I can finish cleaning it up. And uh, I'll just run it once in a while. But my air compressor at home will hardly keep up with it. Even that one's kind of too small. Was it intended for steam? This looks wrapped. I think you could run it on steam, actually. Some of it was wrapped up. I had to cut some of it off to fix some plumbing. But boy, that's been wrapped up for a long time. <laughs> oh, and then they changed all of this. But uh, yeah, I think you could easily run that on steam if we had a stationary type oil. Which would be kind of fun to build, actually. Because I got some other big steam engines at home. We were going to set them up here when we had our open house, but that sort of fell apart last year or so. Wow, that was exciting. 
Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot, and especially if you have time to leave a comment below. I would love to see what you're thinking. I've got some exciting video planned in the weeks to come, so I hope you can join me right here next time.